this is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for all to new. Today I'll be sharing a layout I created with two new products from the February 2020 collection. I'll be using the alpaca stamp which is this cute 2x3 stamp set as well as the watercolor roses. Now I'm going to create a background using the alpaca and the first thing I did was just quickly draw a grid on my paper approximately the size of the alpaca maybe a bit larger just to give me an idea where I had to stamp and once that's in place I am going to start stamping with some permanent black ink so the uh, these lines will be erased afterwards so I'm going to start with the first alpaca and I'm just going to work uh, with that grid and then stamp them first diagonally and then do the same thing but just um, flip the alpaca in the different direction and I'm also going to add some of these shapes to the sides like if they were just flowing over the paper. If you look at pattern paper you buy when they use uh, shapes this is something that they do because you have if you have all the shapes like inside your paper it gets a really strange feeling so now that I'm done with the alpaca I'm keeping it very simple I just want to add a bit of color uh, and I'm going to be using the crimson crisp ink and I'm just going to stamp the bandana in red and once that's done, I'm going to add my second color. So I'm going to stay in two tones, red and then a lovely blue. For my blue, I'm going to be using the ocean waves. And I'm going to fill in the white space between the alpaca with some blue leaves from the Watercolor Roses stamp set. Now that I have finished adding that bit of blue, I'm going to pick out a photo. And it's a photo of me and one of my twin boys. Uh, this photo was taken while we were on a little day trip to Brussels. And I thought the colors matched nicely with the background I created. I matted the photo onto some teal cardstock. And then I used some of the sentiments from the Watercolor Roses stamp set to create my title as well as some of the journaling. And once that's done, I can start adding some little extra elements. And these I just pulled from my stash, this little camera. This is a chipboard camera from uh, the Reflection Scrapbook Collection. And I also pulled out a couple of enamel dots, uh, some flowers that I had cut out from a previous project. As you can see, I'm rummaging through my little leftover bowl. I've got two of these uh, on my desk and I always use these if I want to add little embellishments. Once I've got the flowers on there, I'm also going to add a bit of twine. And that's that. Um, the final touch will be to erase the pencil lines. And then the layout is done. If you have any uh, questions about the products used, please visit the All to New Scrapbook blog or just leave them in uh, the comment section. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something new today or that you have been inspired to create your own project. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Have a lovely day, happy scrapping and see you soon. Bye bye.